The film starts in Michigan and there's a birthday celebration at a printing company. It was Ned's 55th birthday and he is the leader of the company. This event was attended by Ned's families and employees. He has a wife named Barb and a son named Scotty, who is the heir to the family business. In fact, Ned has another daughter, Stephanie. But now she's studying in another city. On Ned's birthday, Stephanie congratulates her father via webcam to make him happy. At first, they were all happy with Stephanie's video call. But who would have thought that at the same time, Stephanie's boyfriend came to her boarding house and the atmosphere suddenly became awkward because suddenly her boyfriend walks in on her and flashes the camera. In this digital era, Ned was having trouble with the company's finances because the printing business it's not like before. The company had debts and couldn't cover the loans. On that occasion, Ned also talked to Lou about the video call incident with Stephanie yesterday. Ned then asked for Lou's opinion because Stephanie invited her family to go to California for Christmas vacation. Lou advised Ned to go to California because now Stephanie not talk about many things including the fact that she already has a boyfriend. So Lou told Ned to fulfill the invitation. In short, Ned and his family arrived in California on December 22 and Stephanie was already waiting for them at the airport. Initially, Ned and Barb will stay at a hotel. But it turns out that Stephanie instead invites them all to stay at her boyfriend's house. Stephanie apologized because she had never talked about this guy before on the grounds that she was worried that her parents would be overthinking. Hearing that, of course, Ned felt uneasy. In short, they arrived at Stephanie's boyfriend's house. This is a big villa with a super wide yard. Stephanie said that her boyfriend was a successful CEO of a video game company. When they got there, they were immediately greeted by Stephanie's boyfriend who looked like a bad guy and his name was Laird. He is a guy with a body full of tattoos and also foul mouths. Laird's personality makes Ned and Barb very uncomfortable. Not only that, they also meet Gustav, Laird's best friend and assistant who is just as eccentric. Seeing Laird like that, Ned and Barb decided to stay at the hotel instead of this big house. Things got even more awkward when Laird went overboard by getting Ned's family tattooed on his back. Moreover, the way Laird spoke was considered to be a bad influence on Scotty, who was still 15 years old. But instead, Scotty is infatuated with Laird because he always plays games made by Laird. After that, Laird took Stephanie's family on a house tour. And unexpectedly, Laird built a bowling alley for Ned's refreshment because Ned is indeed a bowler. Laird also showed off his living room full of art. It was all designed by Gustav to impress Barb as she is a photography and art lecturer. Laird's compliments succeeded in making Barb smile and impress. But Stephanie thinks that Laird is trying too hard to win over her family, especially the family tattoos and the bowling alley with Ned's photo attached there. After the house tour, Stephanie talks to Ned and apologizes for not having told him about Laird earlier. She was worried that Ned would Google Laird and found bad facts about him and refused to get to know Laird closer. Stephanie said that even though Laird's appearance was like that, he was a good person. Stephanie thinks that Ned is the most important person for her, that's why she invites him there. Hearing this, Ned melts down and is wanting to give Laird the chance. When having dinner together, Laird gave an extravagant banquet by bringing in a chef from Master Chef and the dish is bear meat. At that point, Ned asks how Stephanie and Laird met. At first, the conversation went well. But Laird does what Laird does. He brought the conversation outside of what was planned by Gustav. Laird said that he had not graduated from high school, but he had been a programmer since he was 17. Unlike Stephanie, who is still hiding some facts, Laird said honestly that they have been dating for almost a year and are already living together. Even though Laird is a sloppy guy, he always tells the truth. The next day, Laird invites Ned to take a walk in the yard to strengthen the bond between them. Ned was surprised because Laird bred chickens and cows for his personal consumption, not like the rich people in general who like to buy at the supermarket. Then Laird took Ned to his private place where he could focus on finding ideas for the games he would make. There Laird said that on Christmas Eve he plans to propose to Stephanie to marry him. Before doing that, Laird asked Ned's blessings because he knew that Ned really loves his daughter. Knowing the plan, Ned rejects it. He thinks Stephanie is not ready to step into marriage. But Laird is confident that he will have Ned blessing as Stephanie's father, so Laird challenges Ned. After all, Laird wasn't going to propose to Stephanie unless he had Ned's approval. Laird also asked Ned to promise that Stephanie would not know about this plan so that it would still be a surprise. After the meeting, Gusta immediately asked Laird about the results. Approaching Ned was Gusta's idea, so he was curious about the results. Gusta thought Ned would agree, but because of Laird's improvisation by challenging Ned, Gusta was curious about it even though it was quite risky. In another room, Ned opened his laptop and saw his debts which were growing. It was more than $300,000 which made him very dizzy with the fate of his company later. Plus, outside, he saw Laird was taking Barb's heart. It made Ned jealous and Judge Laird was extending his bad influence to other family members.
That night, Laird threw a party and invited his friends and other VIP people. Even Laird met Elon Musk. Then, when Ned met Barb, she said that Laird told her about his sad family history until he was successful like now. Barb said Laird's mother forced him to study computers since childhood so he could become a programmer. At the party, Ned and Barb tried to mingle with Laird and his friends. Instead, Ned and Barb were introduced to Laird's friend who had a giant printing company, which made them really insecure. After that, Ned asked Stephanie to talk in private. Ned tries to convince his daughter that there is still time for her to choose another man. But Stephanie insisted that Laird was a good person. Instead, Stephanie chose him because he was similar to her father. Hearing that, Ned was shocked. For Stephanie, Ned and Laird had honest and authentic traits, so Ned gave in to her daughter and tried to understand. The other day, Laird took Ned to buy a Christmas tree. Laird was very excited because he had never done this with his father. Laird also wanted to get to know Ned more deeply, because Stephanie admires Ned as the father so much. In short, they decide to take the Christmas tree from the front of Laird's competitor's office. At first, Ned refused, but in the end, he helped Laird. After successfully taking the Christmas tree, Laird impressed Ned because in the car, Laird had already prepared songs from Kiss, the rock band that Ned really liked. After that, Ned opened the conversation regarding Laird's planned marriage proposal. Ned thought that it was not the right time because now Stephanie was in her final semester. Ned wanted his daughter to finish her studies first. However, Ned was shocked when he heard the news that Stephanie would quit her studies and would take care of a charity foundation that would be founded by Laird. The foundation will focus on women's welfare and Stephanie will become the director. After hearing the news, Ned held a family meeting and interrogated Stephanie. Ned is shocked because apparently Barb already knows this and only Ned hasn't been told because they are waiting for the right time after Christmas break. Ned regretted why Stephanie didn't finish college, which had a few more left. However, according to Stephanie, her decision was correct because her study and this foundation have the same mission. Ned was even more upset when Barb and Scotty agreed and sided with Stephanie. For Ned, Laird was a bad influence on his family. Starting from Stephanie, who was about to drop out of college, to his worries if Stephanie uses heroin and so on. Because this conversation does not meet the point, Stephanie chooses to leave and Ned tries to cheer himself up by playing bowling. And all of a sudden, Ned gets an idea. He calls his employee in the office, Kevin, who is an IT expert. Ned asked Kevin to hack into Laird's computer so Ned could get information he could use to prevent Stephanie from dropping out of college. Because of that, Kevin told Ned to end the program on Laird's computer. Luckily, there was a password reminder which Laird put on the table. That way, Ned can install a program so Kevin can hack into Laird's computer. After that, Kevin got into action and tried to send some data to Ned. But after that, Kevin was counterattacked by Laird so he panicked. In fact, access to Kevin's smart home can easily be taken by Laird. Even though Kevin was attacked, Ned still got some data that he could use. With the data, Ned tried to convince Stephanie that Laird was a liar. Ned said that Laird didn't have enough money to build a foundation. Then he showed Stephanie Laird's bank account, which looked minus. Laird and Gustav explained that it was just financial flow data from one of the games. While his assets have been stored in the form of stocks and bonds, Ned is embarrassed when Laird says that Kevin was caught breaking into his computer. When they heard that Laird had around 197 million US dollars, how much money do you have? Babe. 197 million. All of them were surprised. Because of that, Laird gives Ned a Christmas present, a smartphone with an offer. Laird intends to buy Ned's company, and that way, Ned can immediately pay off his company's debts. Now, it is Ned who is being tried because all members of the family just found out that Ned's business is not doing well. The prestigious Ned is annoying that he lost to Laird, he then punches Laird and a scene ensues and that Christmas Eve becomes chaotic. <laughs> Because of the incident earlier, Ned, Barb, and Scotty decided to go home. Of course, Stephanie was really disappointed. At the same time, Ned got a call from a potential investor. However, no one was interested in his proposal because they considered that Ned's printing company was out of date. That Christmas Eve was the saddest night for Ned. In short, when they arrived in Michigan, Ned was shocked because he came back and was greeted by all of his employees. Lou said that they had news from Scotty that Ned had an agreement with Laird. Because of that, they thank Ned because they are happy to still have jobs. They gave Ned an iPad as a Christmas present, and they got the iPad wallpaper from Scotty. A picture of Ned and Laird which seemed to show that the two of them looked alike. As Stephanie said, Laird is a younger version of her father. Suddenly, from outside, a helicopter came. It was Laird who took Stephanie home. However, at that time, Stephanie didn't know that she was brought home. 
after knowing that Stephanie was disappointed. However, Laird only wanted on this Christmas day they had to gather with Stephanie's family. Stephanie said that they should be in California at this time, if only Laird and Ned had not disrupted their holiday. Stephanie was angry because it seems she's just a property that's being contested. Then men tried to talk to Laird. Ned was amazed that Laird kept his promise not to propose to Stephanie without his blessing. From there, Ned thought that Laird was really a respectable man. And Ned said that Laird didn't need his blessing to propose to Stephanie. But it all came down to Stephanie's decision. Ned then gave his blessing and told Laird to keep it as simple as possible. At home, Ned apologizes to Stephanie and tries to come to terms with himself and wants to learn to let go of his beloved daughter because she has to have her own life. Stephanie then meets Laird outside the house and Laird proposes to Stephanie as simply as Ned suggests. But Gustav, who was still in the helicopter, was not even given a briefing, so the crazy plan actually happened. Gustav presented the original KISS band personnel, but Laird quickly told them to go into the house and cancel the plan. Of course, Ned and Barb, who incidentally are big fans of KISS, became awkward to welcome their idol who came into the house. When Laird and Stephanie entered the house, Ned congratulated them. But unfortunately, unexpectedly, Stephanie actually refused Laird's proposal because she wasn't ready to get married. Stephanie also said that she would finish her studies first, so she wanted to postpone her marriage. After that, Laird still offers to save Ned's company. However, Ned refused because his business could no longer be maintained. As a replacement, Ned invites Scotty to come up with a new business idea. Scotty thought that they could build a smart toilet factory in Michigan by hiring former employees. Hearing this crazy business idea, Laird also agreed. In short, Ned's printing factory was turned into a smart toilet factory while still hiring the former employees. Scotty became the company's new CEO. Thanks to Stephanie's intelligence, she was finally able to connect the company with the Health Foundation which she built for good sanitation. Their companies became successful, and in the end, Laird got what he wanted, being part of this family.